welcome to this episode of Musically Cogitating, a podcast about the relevance and importance of living and contemporary music of all kinds and about how that music impacts our everyday lives. I am your host, Siad Wells. Thank you so much for joining me here on this podcast Wednesday. As always, any important and relevant links will be in the show notes. And if you could do me a favor and leave this podcast a review wherever that is on Apple Podcasts, if it's on Podchaser, if you just want to, you know, comment on an Instagram picture, that'd be awesome too. And I just wanted to say, yes, I am back. And I decided to take a quick break from the podcast just to one, get some good data for the tracking challenge that I was doing. And two, because it turns out that writing a dissertation is hard and it takes time and so i needed to complete that so that is done and now we are back to our regularly scheduled podcast programming today is the second episode in the music time tracking challenge and again the goal for this challenge this last month this october was to just track and see and understand how i listened to music so kind of like understanding how often do i have a routine are there genres that i listen to more than not yes or no those were the things that i wanted to discover and if you did this challenge alongside me let me know because i would really love to hear how you went about tracking but also your results and if they were surprising and if you plan to change anything going forward it's interesting for me because listening to music kind of serves to primary purposes and the first one is that it's part of my work essentially as a musician to listen to music to learn new things to hear new things to new new to me things because a lot of the music that I listen to isn't necessarily new per se but it's often new to me and I realized that in a lot of my listening as soon as I hear something I almost want to start to memorize it and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing but it's just something that I started to notice and understand is that if I listen to something maybe a a few times over if I really like it I'll continue to listen to it and of course I'll have started kind of subconsciously memorizing it but if I don't really like it upon the first listen and I can't remember remember it then uh, I don't like it and it's probably not going to be something I listen to again so the second primary purpose for me for listening to music is that it's fun and obviously i really 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 love music and it's just something that i enjoy doing of course you know part of listening to music involves going to concerts and things like that and i haven't been to that many concerts uh, for the you know the obvious reasons but I really enjoy going to concerts and shows and I have tickets for several shows that are to be happening in the future. So I'm really excited to begin listening to music in and, and that way again because it, it's a lot of fun. But ju- just generally, listening to music is a lot of fun. So I wanted to better understand my relationship to listening to music because, you know, at, at my heart, in, in my heart of hearts, in my soul, I'm a searcher, I'm a wanderer. And so I'm always trying to like, like understand my my relationship to things better. So whether that be, of course, music and, and in this podcast, but um, to books and to, to food and to all the things that I like, and of course, to people and things like that. So if this was just like a, a public diary and, and journal entry into understanding how I listen and consume music. This is by no means a scientific experiment. These are just some rough numbers, facts, findings, data, and the the goal wasn't for it to be, you know, this really intense or to provide me with exact data. I just wanted to have and to be able to to have some, let's say, rough estimates on on, you know, how I listen to music and how I understand it in my relationship to music. So again, I'll just quickly review how I tracked it. So tracking was pretty easy because I use, of course, some analog tools because 
what would this podcast be if there were not some sort of analog tools and some automated and digital tools. So to recap, for digital music, I used Apple Music as my streaming service. Yes, streaming service. Yes, streaming for the month, which connects to several apps that I use to listen to music. So I used albums.app, Marvish Music Pro, and last.fm. And then I found another one called Quiet Scrubbles, which is pretty interesting. It's it's fine. It's not really a pretty app, which is kind of sad because I think the function of it is really nice, but it's not really fun to look at necessarily. But they do have a cool widget if you are on iPhone. So maybe that's something that interests you. All of these tools basically just helped me to keep track of the songs that I was listening to using Apple Music. So those were what I used for the digital music that I listened to, streaming, and then for analog. So for listening to my MB3 player, because yes, I have an MP3 player <laughs> that I that I acquired just recently, actually. I used simply a notebook and uh, a pencil. And it all worked out for me really well because of course, doing this challenge that I came up with was a lot of fun. And so, you know, during the month of October, I was really aware, I was like hyper aware of any time that I listened to my movie player to make sure that I wrote down, you know, what I was listening to. And I was focused on it and I picked tools that I enjoy and used regularly. So it wasn't too far out of my everyday life or routine. So these are kind of the questions that I wanted to initially answer. I wanted to know in a, in a month, because I ended up doing this for a month, how many songs I listen to, do I listen to the same songs, uh, new ones, how much time do I spend listening, roughly, do I spend most of my time listening to music, is it active or passive? Meaning, am I really listening to it or is it just on in the background? I wanted to know what genres I listen to most, which I already knew, but you know, the data shows something and, and I agree with it. <laughs> do I have a musical routine slash, you know, when do I listen to music the most? And so I think my initial assumptions were correct. So I will, you know, share those with you. I don't listen to as much music as I want or thought. And this was unfortunately true, which is interesting because the assumption is that as a musician or a, a musical interested person is that you will listen to a lot of music. And maybe I listen to more music than say someone who is just marginally interested in music. But, you know, if you're thinking about the average musician, you would assume that they just listen to a lot, a lot, a lot of music. It's on every day in the car, in their home, they're playing it, yada, yada, yada. And the truth is, I probably listen to more podcasts than I do music, which is kind of strange. But I think when you spend a lot of time practicing listening to music, you just want to give your ears a break and you want to listen to something else. So I, I think that is a large part of it. But, you know, also listening to music has that dual purpose that I was talking about. It's part of work and it's part fun. And so switching between those two purposes, even if the same music I'm listening to is not quote unquote for work, I think it can still be a really weird experience because I have to decide, you know, when I'm listening to a song, am I listening for work or am I listening to pleasure? And I don't want to always really have to do that. So I think sometimes I just forego listening to music at all, which is bad. So I'm definitely going to fix that. And I, I also assumed prior to this experiment that most of the music that I listen to is not the music that I end up performing the most. So you would think that, you know, I play a lot of contemporary new music. I play a lot of classical guitar, obviously. So you think that that was what I listened to the most and that is not true. And I was pretty aware of that. I spent most of my time listening to jazz and R&B, which is fine. So I also assumed that most of my music listening was passive, uh, which was true. And that I listen to music while I'm doing another activity, which is most often 
writing. So as I said, I was writing my dissertation and I did listen to music while I was doing that. Although, of course, yes, sometimes I listen to podcasts and I'm not really sure how I'm able to listen to people talk while I'm writing, but it's only certain people. It's only certain podcasts. You can't just put on any podcast in the background when I was writing or when I am writing. Um, so that is something I came to realize. And so here are the kind of rough stats. And uh, for my MP3 player, I listened to it like every four or so days, which was pretty expected because most of the music that I have on there is music, of course, that I have like intentionally put on there. And it's mostly only music that I have purchased recently. So a lot of my physical media still hasn't been transferred on there. So it just needs to grow. I need to spend more time putting the music on there. And then I think when I do that, I will listen to it more. But I'm happy with the amount of time that I spend listening to to my MP3 player because it's music on there that I really enjoy and it feels really special and really precious for whatever reason. So yes, I want to listen to it more and I wanna, I do wanna be a little bit precious about it because it's a great device for listening to music and I want to continue to cultivate, you know, that music listening habit and learning and sharing and having more music on that device. So the majority of the music that I listened to on my MP3 player was, of course, jazz. And I would say that over the last month, so from October 1st to 31st, I probably spent somewhere around 20-ish hours listening to music on there, which is, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have an estimate for the amount of hours per se that I was going to listen either, you know, analog or streaming. I just kind of said a lot or not a lot which was a total which was totally fine for me in terms of measuring and, and that being a yardstick so according to last.fm which kept track of all of my streams i listened to 1200 uh, sorry 212 scrubbles which i think is pretty low uh, average six scrubbles a day which is six tracks or and uh, that 212 includes like repeat songs so i listen I, I know that i listen to several songs over and over and over again but they're really good and i really wanted to you know i wanted to learn them i wanted to internalize them so i did <laughs> and the other stats they, they give some kind of really cool stats for the month so 75 percent of those songs that i listened to were artists that were new to you know my apple music library so i would say that they were probably also new to me i try to listen to quite a bit of new to me music if i can my top artist for last month october was jojo and she put out a new album and i really enjoyed it so i spent a lot of time listening to it that that's why 93 percent of the albums that i listened to were new so i guess maybe that means released within the last six months to a year which again is probably you know i would say yeah that's probably accurate to how i listen to music in general especially streamed music now analog music is definitely not that most of that is probably older music that's been out for at least a year or more but for streamed yeah 86% of those tracks were new which I thought was pretty pretty interesting stat as well um, my top genres as I said were soul jazz R&B and I listened to 13 total hours so that was all digital and I would say it's interesting again that I don't spend a lot of time listening to classical music but you know I just don't really care to listen to symphonies all the time so i don't but you know i definitely should and i want to and as far as you know classical guitar music i, I do listen to it here and there and i will continue to listen to it more especially now that i think i just have a little bit more space to to be able to do that because you know when you're at school and when you're a musician anyway you end up consuming a lot of music because you go to concerts and shows and I am thinking that more of that is going to be happening soon anyway so the answers to those questions that I asked myself earlier were um do I listen to the same songs or new ones and so clearly based on the data as we like to say 
I listen to the same songs a lot, which is which is cool. And yeah, it doesn't really matter, but it, it's just something to note and to notice. I wanted to answer, you know, how much time do I spend listening? And so I would say roughly I spent around 40 hours last month listening to music, which is not a lot considering how much podcasts how many podcasts I listen to but you know I would say 40 hours is it's not bad that's like averaging an hour a day and I don't listen to music every day though like I I know that I don't so that's interesting but you know where it's like when I'm listening to music I listen to a lot of it in one time and then I just don't listen to music at all um, and this doesn't, you know, none of these stats include radio listening. So sometimes when I get in the guitar, when I get in the car, I do listen to music on the radio and none of this is included in that. So, you know, there is more time that I do spend passively, actively listening to the radio in the car, um, but that's not really included in any of these stats. As far as active versus passive listening time, the overwhelming majority of the time that I spend listening to music is passive, which I think is true for a lot of people. And I want to change that. I want to be a little bit more focused on the music when I am listening to it. And that just involves making sure that I am only single tasking and not attempting to multitask because, you know, the internet says you can't really multitask anyway, that you're just kind of always quickly switching between tasks and so my my hope my goal is to simply just spend more time actively listening of course i knew that most of the music i listened to would be jazz and that's fine and i wanted to know if i had a specific routine and i discovered and i think i already knew this but i discovered that i don't really have a specific routine other than when i'm writing i prefer to listen to music and there isn't a time of day that I listen to music more often. Although I do know, and I knew this before the challenge, I know that I definitely don't listen to music in the morning. And I don't know why that is. I guess I'm just not really awake enough yet. But most of my listening happens from noon on. And if it's really, really late in the day and night, you know, if it's pushing midnight or one o'clock in the morning, I probably have music on. Um, so that's something that I kind of discovered. But yeah, I don't really have a specific routine. So that, that was interesting. So what did I learn and what do I want to do about it? And I learned that I don't listen to that much music or not as much as I want to. And it's because, you know, I'm not really prioritizing it or thinking about it or being an intentional about it. So going forward, I definitely want to be more intentional about you know how much music I'm listening to and I came up with that I want to make sure I listen to music for at least 15 minutes every day and I'm just gonna go with that and if it's more it's fine if it's less that's also fine this is not really a hard and fast habit but it's just something that you know I want to think at the end of the day I want to make sure that I've listened to some music because it is fun it is it exists somewhere between a hobby and a job for me and and regardless of that I want it to be something that I engage in and I do every day because music makes me feel good and you know often it's a lot less stressful than consuming listening to people talk all the time when they're talking about how they feel which of course you're talking to me about how I feel and so I appreciate you listening to that but I also understand that sometimes you just want to listen to music you want something that's you know easy on the ears and I and I totally understand and I'm right there with you so if you did this challenge let me know your thoughts I want to know how much music you listen to I want to know if you enjoyed this and I'm going to do an episode soon in the next month or so kind of revisiting this topic in a really interesting way so you'll definitely hear what that's about soon since this is a show about music and music listening and, and because I listened to some new music last month, I'm going to recommend something new for you today. And I'm going to recommend Ambler by Matthew Stevens and he is a solo guitarist. I mean, he doesn't always play solo, but this particular album is solo guitar because he recorded it in his apartment in 
like earlier this year so it's a really cool really interesting and i really enjoyed it don't forget you can follow the podcast on social media and you can visit the website you can sign up for the newsletter because i will be sending one of those out soon you can visit our merch store and buy a t-shirt or a sticker or whatever you'd like and you can always buy me coffee or support the show using the link in the show notes so that is all i have for you today we are back on our every other week schedule so you can expect me back in two weeks with the next episode of the musically cogitating podcast until then Mm -hmm.